What is up guys, it's your boy Falcon back again and today we're working on a Chevy GM with a 1.4 which this is basically for all 1.4 Chevy Cruze, Chevy Trax, Buick Encore so really don't want to give you a specific gear but basically, basically pretty much anything that has a 1.4 GM Chevy engine has the same issue and what I'm going to be showing you today is how to replace the intake on the other, this is probably, this This is like a part two because on the other video I'll show you how to replace the valve cover. The valve cover has a little diaphragm that breaks and usually it breaks because the check valve on the intake goes bad and therefore breaks the diaphragm on the valve cover. So today I'm going to show you how to replace the intake manifold as a part two for that other valve cover. Alright guys, so we need to start off by taking that off. All the vacuum lines and connectors that are going to go along with this intake. So we're going to start off with this vacuum line that comes from the turbo. And it goes right here. It has this clip. So all you got to do is remove the clip and you should be able to pull the hose right up. It is a hard plastic hose. So we want to be careful with it not to crack it because then you will have to replace it. So kind of move it and then move it out of the way. See our harness. We're going to have to remove all the connectors for all of our injectors. And they come with this little metal tab here. So if you pull a, a screwdriver right here on the inside, so if you go one by one, you should be able just to put your screwdriver between the metal part of the clip so you can kind of press it in unless you can fit your hands in there and then you should be able to pull the clip out. And of course we have four injectors. So we have four clips that we need to remove. Here's the fourth one. And then see what else this harness is holding. We have this ground right here on the side of the head that is together with this harness. So we need to kind of move that out of the way should be a 10 millimeter um, bolt so remove that screw 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 after removing that one we do have one connector uh, you should be able to see it um, right there next to the ground and that connector is for the temperature sensor so now we remove these plastic clips out of here so we can um, get the harness out uh, we do the connector for the throttle body just has that uh, great clip pull it back press it and then you should be able to pull it out Remove those right there and then uh, you can use I believe it's a seven millimeters or a flathead screwdriver to remove the intake line now we go to this vacuum line here it has two tabs to press on either side so we press it down and pull it up move it that out of the way and then next we have the perch valve perch valve has this green tab connector and then this black connector in the back um, as far as the green connector here it's like a two-stage connector so the green tab you gotta pull it up and then on the back of the green tab you have a, like another little tab to press down so one part you're gonna pull up and on the other part you're gonna pull down and you should be able to pull it out and then here is the other side of the uh, perch solenoid and you should be able just to push it off to the sides and then pull it straight up now we remove the uh, solenoid out of the way just so we can um, not break it when we're taking off the intake on this black connector we have the red safety tab so we're gonna pull the red safety tab to the back and you should be able to have access to the like the connector so you can push it down this other connector is exact the same way you push the red tab to the back and then you should be able to press down on it to pull it out now at this point i'm just looking for anything that's going to be holding our harness down any little clip any plastic clip anything like that Make sure that it's completely loose so we can move, remove it with, uh, leave it there while we remove the intake and we can pull it out of the way. So now the fuel line, we have that blue um, safety connector. So we pull the, the blue tab to the to the back and you should be able to just to uh, press it on the side and then pull it straight up. Now here we have one of the heater lines, this one right here. It's actually tied into the intake with like a plastic tab. So nine times out of ten when i've done this job that plastic piece breaks like the the the, the plastic the plastic clamp is almost like a zip tie so if it breaks it's fine you can just replace it with a zip tie so that's what i'm trying to do here we do have one more connector on the bottom with one uh, uh vacuum line so just be careful with that one here we have an e10 socket which is what we're going to use to remove the bolts that hold the intake to the head and that's basically an inverted tor torx or a female torx however you guys want to call it that's what we're going to use to um, loosen up the bolts holding the intake to the head um, once we got those bolts usually the bolts don't come out they just kind of stay there 
so with those um, loose or off you should be able to start removing the intake uh, be careful when you're pulling out the intake just make sure there's nothing else still connected still kind of like hung up and you should be able to just slide off the entire intake um, straight out like so and here it comes be careful like I said connectors um, anything harness this is the part number for the intake from GM 282-89977 now we gotta um, remove the injector assembly and put it onto our new intake uh, don't forget that ground we gotta remove the throttle body put it into our new intake the map sensor also take it off and put it onto our new intake um, and then this is the vacuum line that I was talking about that is hard to see or to get to while the intake is on so just that's the one that you want to be careful whenever you're taking off the intake and then it has one connector down there also um, so here let me show you what goes wrong with this intake here um, see those are the two um, uh, heater hoses that I was talking about that are always a pain in the butt but see this intake you see that orange piece in the back that is the almost like a check valve and you see on this one you can't see it or you can hardly see it so this intake is either way too dirty too sludgy or sometimes that 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 um, check valve breaks and that's what causes your PCV or your valve cover to break off that the little piece that is either a PCV or some people call it differently or whatever but you can start he hearing hissing from the valve cover is because this piece here breaks so that's what goes wrong with the intake that's why usually whenever you replace the, va the valve cover you gotta replace the intake because of that um, piece on the back so now just be very careful uh, putting our intake back into place um, usually those bolts will not slide out through to the back so you should be okay with that but just check on your harness make sure that you don't get it kinked in there vacuum lines and things like that once you get it into place and just with the, um, the socket the E10 inverted torx and just by hand get a couple of threads on each one so you can like set it into place um, it's not it shouldn't fall all the way down to the bottom either because you have like a bracket down there so you should be okay with that too so just be very careful make sure that you don't catch like a piece of the harness or anything between the intake and the head and now that we're set to make sure that we have it kind of in place also before you do this you also want to grab like a rag and just make sure that you like the lip where the head and the intake are gonna touch um, you want to kind of like clean it off with a rag also and here I am just um, getting the first threads on the screws in uh, before I tighten it up the, the intake that's one here we go to the next one screw 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 like I was saying with this job you usually want to do the valve cover here replace the valve cover and intake at the same time um, you if you whenever you took off the the hard plastic vacuum line that goes on top of the intake you should be able to get a flashlight in there and see if you can see the orange um, check valve if you can't see it go ahead and replace the intake if you can see it or it's kind of dirty you might get away with just replacing the valve cover by itself but if not you know you can have to replace them both eventually so this is a very common issue for this 1.4 Chevy uh, GM vehicles it also comes in a Buick I think this is a Buick Rendezvous, um, also Chevy Trax 1.4, Chevy Cruze 1.4. It's all basically the same issue. Um, here we have that intake uh, vacuum line that goes down there in that um, solenoid that I was showing you earlier. And then we have one harness or one connector that's going to go down there too. Um, as far as those two heater hoses that went on the back on those plastic um, brackets that I was showing you earlier, you can just put a zip tie down there and it's fine. Uh, connecting our um, throttle body back in um, don't forget the temperature sensor that goes down there connector we have the ground wire that goes right here with a 10 millimeter bolt right there put that one back into place start it off by hand always um, screw 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 we tighten that up afterwards with a um, 10 millimeter and a ratchet Put our fuel line back in put our blue clip for our fuel line back in uh, we have our we move this harness out of the way so we can put our 
intake boot the one that comes from the inner cooler to the throttle body back in uh, flathead screwdriver should be able to tighten this one up or a seven millimeter socket on this one also all right guys so i hope this video was helpful don't forget thumbs up subscribe hit that bell for me share the channel i will catch you guys on the next video thank you for watching you guys have yourselves great day